Hello everyone, this is Joe Sonic Bone here with a review on the Godzilla Pack of Destruction set. This was requested by someone on YouTube, um, you can find the name down here. Uh, yeah, this is a review on the Bandai Creation Pack of Destruction set. Let's have a look at the box. As you see, it comes with, um, Minya, Mothra Larvae, Adult Mothra, Burning Godzilla, the the aggregate destroyer, um, destroyer final form, Gigan, Godzilla 54, Mogira, and Manda. On the side, we see the other set called the Crumble Zone, which this set is based off giant monsters while out of attack with breakable buildings and stuff. Here we have on the back of the figures. Here are the, um, here we are the 6.5 inch figures. Here we have Gigan, Burning Godzilla, Godzilla 54, and Mothra. Oh yeah, a little bit of interesting thing about this Gigan. As you see, this Gigan looks extremely weird for some reason. I do have a Gigan figure, which is totally different to the prototype imagery we have here. Because this Gigan has pointy things on his, um, on his fin, but on the actual figure, it doesn't. In fact, let me go find that figure now. Excuse me one sec. Alright. Sorry for the delay. As you see, no spikes on the fins. That is dead odd. Okay, so quick with all the topping. And here we have the picture of Godzilla 1985. And also a brief description. But we don't want to listen to all that. Let, let's just get, get into the figure. Okay, I'm going to review one at a time. Because I want to be quick. And fast. Okay. Alright. So let me adjust this. Okay, let's start off with Manda. As you see, Manda is very nicely done in my eyes. Looks like a really good Chinese dragon kind of way. And yes, this Manda is not from Godzilla Final Wars because this set came out in 2002. This Manda is based off the 1960s film Atragon, which Manda does star in it as as one of the main villain who 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 want to destroy Atragon. You know that that giant machine that has a big giant screw. Um. Manda's nicely detailed, pink job wise, really good, however the two fangs are a little bit off. Um, very nicely done, it's just a sculpted toy. Um, as you see, 2002, there we go, yeah, 2002. So, I'll give this figure a 7.5 out of 10. Now I'm moving on to my favourite figures, Mogira. You may remember him from my film called Godzilla Martha vs. Mogira, which is one of the um, Joe Sonic Moon Re Renaissance films because that is my big comeback to my films. Um, yeah, this is the. There are only two figures in here which have articulation. Um, he has articulation only in the arms. And also, they can come off. Don't worry, it's not breakable. Um, uh, they, they only just pop off. All I gotta say is that the detail is really well done. Nicely done. Nothing bad to say of Mogira. Um, I give him a 9.5 out of 10. He's really nice. Now here he comes, Gigan. Gigan has to be one of my favorite um, Godzilla villains, but this one. I actually like. Deadzilla said said that his bud saw looked a bit off. Well, it does a little bit, but but uh, to me it looks really it looks like a comic book style because you know most of the gods of the comic books, mostly the Japanese ones, they have like a deadly bladed um saw on Gigan, which looked rather huge. I guess they must have got the images of that and put it on this figure. Sadly though, this figure has no articulation. It's just like, yeah, yeah, shit, shoom. Um, 
the figure's nicely done anyway. So, 7.5 out of 10. Now here come the other favourite Godzilla figures, Godzilla 54. Okay, you may remember him again from Godzilla and Mothra vs. Mogira. Um, for the articulation, um, it's the arms. Yeah, just the arms. And also, they can come off as well, much like Mogira. And, uh, although this figure is not really accurate to Godzilla 54, um, the face sure is, um, yeah, the face, but the fins are right off. Um, uh, yeah. Also, the tail is very squishy. Look at that, very squishy. Yeah, so 9.4 out of 10 for Godzilla 54. Now, here we come to the best figure out of the, um, set is... The Destroyer! Yeah. The detail on him is really good. And also, especially the back, it's really nicely done, even the tail. No articulation for this figure, however, he's really bendable, soft rubber. Look at that. Really bendy. The only bad thing I have to say for this figure is the size up. I mean, comparing him to Burning Godzilla, he towers over him. I mean, in the um, film, he was about that bigger. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the next lot of figures. Sorry about that, folks. Um, my camera died of battery, so I'm charging it right now. Um, here we have the Aggregate Destroyer, which is really cool looking. To say the least, this is the first aggregate destroyer I have. Well, I think this is the first destroyer figures I have. Um, yeah, very cool. Um, I don't know if you may count this articulation, but you can move these. Um, they're very rubbery. Yeah, you can make them go like, like this, like Gigan in Gods of Destroy Monsters Lately. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like that. <laughs> the paint job is really good. The the detail is good. The articulation could have been a bit better. Now, let's do a size comparison with Burning Godzilla. Well, not really an accurate size. Well, if you have the bigger Godzilla, like my favorite figure, Godzilla 2000, yeah, it totally fits well with him, because in the movie, these do attack Burning Godzilla. Yeah, so yeah, they do fit well with him. Well done, boy. Good show. Yeah, so at 8.5 for this. Now we get now we get into my favorite figure, Burning Godzilla. Everyone seems to hate Burning Godzilla that much. I mean, the band of creation Burning Godzilla. Everyone despised that because of the weird tattoo burnt designs. Oh dear, my camera is going funny. Excuse me one sec. There we go. Much better. Sorry about that, my camera was not on detail mode. As you see, the detail is just really good with this figure. Even the face is done well. Everyone seems to nag about the tattoos and the awkward looking fins. Deadzilla didn't mind all this. And also, the tail is quite long. Also, it's in a weird, weird looking position. Very bendy. Uh, even the hands. Even the toes. For some reason, all these figures have one strange smell, and they smell like really, like cheesy rubber. It smells nice, actually. So, I'm giving them a 9.9 .9 out of 10, one of my favorite figures. Moving on to the adult Mothra. This has to be my favorite as well, especially the fuzzy detail on this figure is well done to make it look like it's fur. The paint job's really good on the top, but underneath... It's horrible. I mean, most of these areas are not painted. Maybe because of that. Don't know. I mean, they could have done better. Oh well. I give this one a a 7.5 out of 10. Not one of the best. Uh, here we have my other favorite, which is Mothra Larvae. Quite understandable. Every single Mothra Larvae toy had no articulation. Um, this one is really well sculpted. I mean, the face job is done 
awesomely well. Even this little thumb spike. Everyone wants to know why was this on every single Mothra version of all the movies. Well, that was there for defense. Well, the only defense that Mothra had was her spitting web. If you're playing Godzilla Unleashed or Godzilla Save the Earth, um, this will be this will come very handy, and also the web will come in handy. I really love the paint job. I give this one a, a 9.8 out of 10. Yeah, almost close to Godzilla. Now for the Minilla. Okay, this little guy starred in two of my movies. He starred in Godzilla vs. Space um, vs. Destroyer film. And also, he starred in in Godzilla vs. the Mecha Brothers, which is one of my best um, Godzilla 2000 films, and also one of the last to star Godzilla 2000. Um, yeah, very good. He's really well done to his um, 1960s Showa um, Manila. Yeah, very well done. Let's do a size comparison with um, Godzilla 54. As you see, they both fit well. Well, kinda. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they both fit well. I give Manila a 8.5 out of 10. A really good figure, despite it's quite creepy looking on the face. But, but the face is quite accurate. Um, it's just that it looks creepy. Yeah, creepy looking. So that's my review on the pack of destruction. Um, thank you all for watching. I give this set a a score of eight point no wait nine point one out of ten, making it a highly commendable set. Oh, by the way, you must get the set quite fast because. I spent high and low in 2008 looking for this set because it was so hard to find because, you know, every single Godzilla collector wants this set badly. So, <sighs> excuse me one sec. Thank you. So, that's my review on the Pack of Destruction set. Uh, this is... Joe Sonic Boom, signing out.